Welcome to Amazing World Adventures. I'm Jeff, and I live full time in this large motorhome. Okay. <clears throat> I already know up front that even if only 10 people ever watch this video, more than one is going to be tempted to, to educate me on why this is a terrible idea, what I'm going to show you today. Um, I will just say up front that they're not entirely wrong, but I've thought this through. I know what I'm doing. I've actually been doing it for several weeks. It works great. So, turn the camera around here. My battery bank for my solar power is AGM. So I don't use lithium batteries. I have 12 volt AGM batteries. That's mostly by design. But you can see this battery right here and this battery right here are not AGM batteries. They're flooded lead acid or FLA. So these are the engine and chassis batteries for you know starting the engine and the, the chassis battery that came built in. So I've got back behind here um, four AGMs and then over on this side I've got four more AGMs hiding back in the corner behind the inverter. When I'm parked for sometimes a month, more than a month at a time, the engine battery and the chassis battery just sit doing nothing. That's not good for a battery's health. They will tend to run down even if I put a trickle charger on them. Um, you know, and it's just not good. So what I do is I tie them into the solar battery bank. So instead of eight 12 volt batteries, I have 10 12 volt batteries. Um, now, critics will say that mixing AGM and flooded lead acid is not a good idea. Um, some may say that, you know, mixing batteries of different ages is not a good idea. Um, they're both right, technically. Um, you shouldn't mix battery chemistry and you shouldn't mix new and old batteries. The thing is that the AGM batteries that I'm using are already about two years old. The engine battery is only about a year and a half old. The chassis battery, I'm not sure how old it is, but it's not terribly old. It still holds a charge really well. They're all 12 volt. They're all fundamentally still the same chemistry. Um, I mean, there's a different physical makeup in that the flooded lead acid has a liquid sloshing around in it and the AGM doesn't and the AGM is sealed. Um, actually the engine battery is also a sealed lead acid battery. It's called a SLA versus the FLA which is flooded lead acid. So you can see this one here has caps on the top um, and that's you know the old style batteries where you can pop the caps and add water to the battery. Um, the one back here does not have caps. It's a sealed battery. Anyway, um, like I said, I've been, used, I've had these batteries attached to my solar bank for several weeks now, and they work fantastically. Um, they integrate seamlessly with the battery bank, and, you know, they hold a charge really well. It's good for the health of the battery to be able to charge and discharge on a regular basis. And it's good for the health of the battery bank to have that extra capacity for, especially, you know, on, you can see that today is a fairly cloudy day. Um, it's broken clouds, but, you know, I'm coming off of four days of heavy overcast where, you know, I was getting very limited solar and very limited wind power and having these two extra batteries has helped tremendously. So um, it's not for everybody. It's not for the faint of heart. Absolutely don't do it if you're using uh, lithium batteries or you know you don't want to mix and match different battery types. But you know if all of your batteries are 
of the lead acid variety, whether that's an FLA, SLA, or AGM, then, you know, yes, technically you shouldn't mix them, but nothing catastrophic will happen if you do.